Hey everyone, I'm Max Dalton, and in this video I'll compare the JBL Flip 4 to the JBL Flip 5 to help you determine which JBL Bluetooth speaker is the best fit for you. While there are a lot of similarities between the two devices, there are some key differences that may cause you to lean toward a specific version of the popular portable speaker. First, let's look at the build and form factor of each device. The JBL Flip 5 is slightly larger than the JBL Flip 4, in that it's just over 7 inches long, just under 3 inches tall and 3 inches deep, and weighs 1.19 pounds. The added weight is barely noticeable and shouldn't play a big part in your decision. Both the Flip 4 and the Flip 5 are wrapped in the same wire mesh combination that not only gives JBL devices an attractive look, but also contributes to the tough exterior that protects the internal components from the elements. Additionally, the rubber end caps that sit over the exterior passive radiators are the same on each device. The exterior passive radiators themselves have a more rounded appearance and a rubbery feel on the JBL Flip 5 similar to the JBL Charge 4 and the Extreme 2, while the exterior passive radiators on the JBL Flip 4 are flat and feel like flat plastic. Finally, both the JBL Flip 4 and the JBL Flip 5 Bluetooth speakers are IPX7 rated, which means they are waterproof for up to 3 feet and also dustproof. Now let's take a look at the button access on each device. Both the Flip 4 and the Flip 5 have four buttons built into the wire mesh toward the back of the device, and two buttons built into the plastic bar that runs along the back of the device. The buttons for the JBL Flip 5 are positioned slightly closer to the top, so you don't have to go all the way behind the speaker to get them, which is nice. However, what buttons are located where on each device is slightly different. A play button and the volume up and down buttons are located in the wire mesh on each device, but the JBL Flip 4 Bluetooth speaker has the Bluetooth button in the last spot, while the JBL Flip 5 has the Party Boost button in that location. The Party Boost button can be used to connect more than a hundred JBL speakers together that also have the Party Boost feature. Additionally, the play button performs different functions on the two speakers. The play button on the JBL Flip 4 can be used to access either Google Assistant or Apple Siri and also accept phone calls. The only function of the play button on the Flip 5 is to start and stop music. The power button for each device is built into the plastic bar, but the Flip 4 also has the JBL Connect Plus button in that location, which is the older functionality that can be used to connect multiple JBL speakers with JBL Connect Plus together, while the Flip 5 has the Bluetooth button in that spot. One thing that is worth noting is that the buttons on the JBL Flip 5 are more easily clickable. While the buttons on the JBL Flip 4 aren't bad, sometimes it feels like you have to drive your finger through the speaker to get a response. Next, let's do a sound comparison between the JBL Flip 4 and JBL Flip 5 and discuss audio quality. For this sound comparison between the JBL Flip 4 and the JBL Flip 5, we'll listen to the same 10 second sound clip played at the same volume level through each device. First, let's listen to the audio clip on the JBL Flip 4. Now let's listen to the same audio clip played through the JBL Flip 5. The JBL Flip 5 hands down sounds better at all levels, low, high, and mid-range, and pumps out insanely great sounding bass for its size driven by the improved 1-inch passive radiators. The overall audio quality is similar to what you get out of the JBL Charge 4, but without the higher power output afforded by the Charge 4 that can help it get louder. Additionally, the audio from the JBL Flip 5 carries well outdoors and will crank out clean and clear audio that will reach everybody's ears at a backyard party or pool. Next, let's discuss power and ports. 
One of the biggest changes from the JBL Flip 4 to the JBL Flip 5 is the switch from the micro USB port that powers the Flip 4 to a USB-C port that powers the Flip 5, allowing for faster charging. Both devices offer up to 12 hours of music playback on a full charge, but the Flip 5 only takes two and a half hours to fully charge, while the Flip 4 takes three and a half hours. Additionally, the USB-C port on the JBL Flip 5 is located on the right end of the plastic bar that runs along the back of the Bluetooth speaker and is exposed with no cover for easy access. Also, the Flip 4 offers an input for a 3.5mm cable under the flap next to the micro USB input. The 3.5mm input was scrapped on the Flip 5. That's not a big deal for me, but if you still have devices you want to use with your JBL portable speaker and that's the only connection type that will work for you, that's definitely something to consider. Additionally, the Flip 4 uses 5 LED lights on the back to convey the battery's charge level, while the Flip 5 has a solid LED light that fades as the battery loses power. I haven't used the Flip 5 long enough to know whether I like the new approach to indicating the power level, but I didn't have any issues with the LED lights and I'm not sure why they changed it. Now, let's talk about the ability to connect multiple JBL Bluetooth speakers together. JBL is ditching the JBL Connect Plus functionality it rolled out in its last generation of portable Bluetooth speakers that made it possible to connect more than 100 devices together, replacing it with Party Boost. Party Boost also lets you connect up to 100 JBL Bluetooth speakers together as long as they all have Party Boost, which of course, no older JBL Bluetooth speakers do. If you own multiple older JBL speakers, prepare to be frustrated and take this into consideration when determining whether to upgrade to any of the latest generation of JBL portable Bluetooth speakers. Some other final things to take into consideration. In line with feature downgrades on the JBL Flip 5, like removing the ability to interact with Google Assistant and Apple Siri and removing the mic and speakerphone and not allowing people to connect to JBL speakers with JBL Connect Plus, the Flip 5 uses Bluetooth 4.2 rather than bumping up to Bluetooth 5.0, which would have afforded higher data transfer rates and better wireless range. The Flip 4 also uses Bluetooth 4.2. In conclusion, the JBL Flip 5 is an awesome speaker that's worth the price, even if you can get the JBL Flip 4 for a little less. The combination of great sound, high portability, and tough body mean it can fit into a lot of different scenarios, whether you're just looking for a speaker to sit on your desk at work, whether your kid wants a speaker in her room, whether you need something to sit out by a pool, whether you want to pack it on a camping trip, or whether you want to park it in the garage. I'm fairly confident that if you end up getting the JBL Flip 5, you won't be disappointed. However, it's lacking in the feature department when compared with the Flip 4, and if the ability to use the device as a speakerphone and interact with Google Assistant or Siri are important to you, you'll be better off with the Flip 4, which is still a good speaker that offers great value if you're constrained by cost. Let me know whether you're going to get the JBL Flip 5 or the JBL Flip 4 in the comments below. If you liked what you saw here, click the video link on the right side of the screen to check out another video, or click the logo on the left side of the screen to subscribe to this channel to see more great videos like this one.